assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel i'm asif math corner today we will prove a result that every subgroup of index 2 in group g is normal subgroup in group theory so we will divide the statement in some parts main parts that we should know about what is subgroup we should know about what is index and we should also have well idea about what is normal subgroup if these three things about these three things if we have knowledge then we easily can prove the this results so what is subgroup subgroup is very easy to understand that if it contain all the four properties of group that is identity element should exist in this subgroup inverse of each element should exist and uh, associative law hold and closure law must hold if these four property hold then it we can say that it is a subgroup what is index index is the number of left or right cosets so we should know about cosets if uh, we have a group g 1 5 7 8 uh, 1 3 5 7 1 3 5 7 if we have a group and we have a subgroup you may say that 1 and 3 if we have a subgroup 1 and 3 then we multiply if we were doing with respect to multiplication we may say that it is a group of uh, modulo 8 residue classes we are checking what are the left and right cosets so right uh, to find the left and right cosets you may see my video in my channel left and right cosets or you can see the video as well what is index i will share the link in this video in the description of this video so you can check, uh, check and understand very easily so here I want to give you a very short idea about that that we take one by one element from G and multiply it from left side and right side to H and the sets we get are called left and right coset for example if we multiply one from left side 1 into 1 1 1 into 3 3 1 and 3 we got so it is the first left coset then we multiply 3 3 1s are 3 3 3s are 9 and we have taken the modulo 8 set of modulo 8 with respect to multiplication and 9 divided by 8 we get 1 similarly when we multiply it from right side we get some sets and those sets are called if we multiply left side then those are called left cosets if we multiply it from right side then those are called right cosets and their number if we got uh, three left coset then its index is three if we got two left coset and uh, two right coset number of left coset and right coset always equal so and number of if we add left and right cosets we get complete g set all the element of g if we take the union of left and right cosets so keep in mind and we here we will take those subgroups which has index 2 it means that those have only two left coset distinct left coset and two distinct right cosets let's start so here is the theorem every subgroup of index 2 in g in group g is a normal subgroup so we will prove that normal normal subgroup is that uh, the condition for normal subgroup is h is equal to g h g inverse this this condition tells us that it is a normal subgroup so where g belongs to g and h is belong to some subgroup h or some subset of g h so let's start its second statement is also has similar meanings let G be a group 
and H be a subgroup of index 2, then H is a normal subgroup. Let's start. Proof. Let H be a subgroup of index 2. This means that H is a subgroup and its number of left cosets and right cosets are 2. It has two left cosets and two right cosets. And H has two distinct. Distinct mean there is no single element is common between these two cosets of H. Left and right cosets of G. One of left coset, we know that if it is left coset, it, should, it must contain uh, identity element. So one left coset should be when we multiply the identity element with H, that is H E H, and similarly, uh, the other will be you can uh, you may say that A, and the other left coset is A H. First is E H, and second is A H. Similarly, right cosets are when we multiply identity from right side, so E H E is first right coset. And H A is second right cosets. So these are two in number and these are distinct. There is no single element is common in this and this. So similar by Lagrange theorem, we know that by Lagrange theorem tells us that left and right cosets define the partition. Partition means that when we add the left cosets both this and this if we take their union we get complete elements of G similarly if we union if take the union of right cosets their union H E union H A we get all the elements of G its partition means that they make complete G so G is equal to union of left first left coset and first right coset or you may say, say that first right coset union second right coset so uh, because these are distinct this word is very important here distinct mean there is no single element is common if there is no single element is common between them then their intersection will be equal to phi will be equal to empty set so here we can conclude that this if we cancel this because these are same identity uh, when identity element multiply with any element it we uh, get the result of same element so a h is equal to h a we get this result so proceeding this result we will prove that it is a normal subgroup so here h a is equal to h a h is equal to h a where h belongs to h and h prime belongs to capital H subgroup H so here if we multiply a inverse here and a inverse here so this become identity and we have remaining only h and the other side h inverse h prime a and this is the condition for normal subgroup as we know that so here we have proved that Hence, A inverse H prime H belongs to H. So, H prime is also belongs to H and A belongs to G. Thus, H is normal in G. Hence, we have proved. Here is a corollary. Here is a result from this theorem. If H and G are normal subgroup in, of G, then H K is normal subgroup of G. As we know that because these are both normal subgroups, so they will fulfill the condition of this. If we multiply them, their elements, then we have also uh, have the same result that would be the normal subgroup. I hope you understood. If you find any in, any qu uh, query or any question related to this, you may ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much.